one of my favorite little books, The Hacker Playbook 3 by the legendary Peter Kim. And one of the first parts of this book is reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is super important during cybersecurity operations, but also during OSINT. So this is one of the places where cyber and OSINT can touch on each other. And what I'm gonna cover in this video is showing you two tools that are really useful for both circumstances. So let's jump into it. Quick disclaimer, only do this on things that you have permission to do it on. Enough said. By the way, I share cool tools like this, cyber resources and news and things like that in my weekly newsletter, The Sunday Download. If you're interested in that, sign up for free, links in the description. So this is Katana. The link for this is in the description as well. I've got it installed on my Mac. Follow whatever instructions that you need. I'm just gonna fire open the terminal and go to the desktop. There's a folder here called Katana and inside we can see the license, the readme and Katana itself. And it's got read, write and execute so we can actually run it. So that's Katana. Let's just quickly fire up Burp Suite temporary project, use the defaults. Here we go. Inside of Burp Suite, we are going to click on the target panel and scope settings. And what we'll do is we will add my website. And when you add something to the scope, you can tell Burp to exclude out of scope items to history. Yes, we don't want that. We don't want to clog up our history and we can get rid of this now and we can open the browser that's built into Burp Suite. This is really cool. Here it is. I'm just going to turn intercept off in the proxy panel and go back to that browser and let's type in gallerydle.com. Here it is. This is where you can sign up to the newsletter if you're interested. And if we go back here to our history, we can now see a get request to gallerydle.com. And if we go to the target panel, you can see we now have an entry here for GaryRuddle.com. You can also see the request here, the get to the host, GaryRuddle.com, and a whole load of other user agent type stuff. This is the response, HTTP 200 means it worked. Here's the page, and this is the page. Now, we don't have to look at it like this. It says it's pretty, but that means that the code is being indented we can make it even prettier by clicking render and it'll show us the website right there. And you can see when I rendered that, a whole bunch of other stuff popped up in this left-hand panel, but that's fine. So let's just quickly look at the menu. We'll go here. You got resources, products, about, and inside of products, we got a few different links, speaking, workshops, career course, newsletters, yeah, gear, articles. Those are all individual pages on my website. So we should expect to see some of that in Burp. So if I go back here, open this up, you can see we do indeed get that all here. Now, what we don't get is a breakdown of all of the articles back on the site. If we go to articles, you can see there's all these articles, but now look, it's popped up. So some navigation needs to take place sometimes. You could use something like Derb, Derbuster or GoBuster and set the depth of the scan to go much deeper and it would scan all these things and pull that through automatically for you. In the free version of Burp Suite, I believe we're fairly limited. You could upgrade, I think it's about 300 pounds per year and you can get the pro version and it's spidering, crawling options. That's what we're doing here, spidering and crawling are much more significant in the paid version. So as you can see, it does find a lot of stuff. Also, if you don't wanna see all these things that are out of scope, what you do is here in this little text area, if you click on this, you can click this box that says show only in scope items. When I do that and click apply, you can see it drops down to gallerydle.com. Let's go and see what Katana looks like. So I'm going to clear the screen with control L and I'm going to type sudo dot slash katana because that's how you trigger an application from the command line. And we're using sudo because it needs root permissions. 
we'll hit dash u for a url and we'll put in garyriddell.com we'll give it the password and off it goes and as you can see it has found a lot of stuff and the initial sweep in Katana seemed to be a little bit better than the initial sweep that Burp Suite did because it went into the articles folder and then enumerated the articles underneath it. And what's cool here is that this is actually useful for me running my website because I can see this one, the weekly newsletters, when I label them, it's the Sunday download dash 25, 26, 27. This one has the title on it. I need to go and delete that. It shouldn't be like that. So that's quite nice to be able to find that pretty easily. But we can see Katana initially has done a slightly better job. It's also managed to find an email address. So if people want to send me test equipment to test out like cameras and microphones and mice and keyboards and heated mugs. Oh, still haven't heard from Ember. They can do that. It's found that email address and it's put it here in the list, which is really useful. And remember, if we want to output this to a text file, you just do a little arrow like this and you just type in the file name that you want it to go to and hit enter. It'll run again. But what you'll get is a little text file in the folder that you're in called output.txt and you can hold on to that. That's the key differences between Burp Suite and Katana from a spidering perspective. As you can see, both have their benefits. Burp Suite's quite nice. If you're doing the actual testing of the application, you might want to just stay inside of Burp Suite because it does a whole bunch more things than what I just showed you here. But if you're in the OSINT space and you just want to very quickly and easily get a list of pages that are on a website, perhaps Katana might be a better tool for you to use because you can just fire up the command line, quick URL, bang, there's your results. A little bit easier but both of these tools work great again the best way to go and do it is to download them and have a play